If you were your mother, would you keep up contact with you? I would have kept contact. Why? Because I don't believe that anyone is above redemption. If I ever get out of prison and have a child and someone murders my child, I will talk to the person who murdered that child. I will give him, I will at least give him a chance. But you see, okay, here's where I pick you up again. You've painted a scenario where you may have a child in the future. Say you had a, a little girl and somebody stabbed that little girl to death 17 blows of a large knife. I find it very hard to believe that your reaction in that circumstance would not be murderous towards that person. If that's what you believe, then you need, clearly need to spend more than an hour with me because you haven't, you don't know me that well. I would think that's a, a natural reaction of most fathers. You're right, and I agree with that. Why would it not be yours? Because after living the life that I've lived and aching every day for a chance to be seen as more than just the murderer, I would give that person that chance. First of all, let's, let's be clear. He's not talking yeah. about the hypothetical person who kills a hypothetical child. He's talking about himself. Right. Because it all came down to the redemption. Yes. It was all just, I would forgive them, I would sit with them, I would talk with them. This is basically a, a statement to, to charity to say, I am redeemable, and I hope the parole board thinks that yep. I'm redeemable. Yeah. We all say, I, I love my child no matter what. We also all say, if anybody hurt my child, then that's it. So her position is so unique. I think sticking by Paris is her way of not letting him have stolen both her children from her. I just want to show you before we finish, just a picture of your sister, Ella, that's her just before she died. Beautiful young girl with her whole life at her. What, what do you feel when you look at that picture? I feel like I don't deserve to be shown that picture. What do you mean? I am the reason why that every picture of my sister is only of her as a girl. I'm the reason why there are no pictures of her at age five or six or seven or beyond. I'm, I'm the reason why that you will never have new pictures of her and I don't deserve to look at that picture. Paris, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. You're welcome. I was serious when I told you that I refused to ever do something like this again. I was serious when I told you that, um, that mistake doesn't define me. I get that. I mean, is the, scar is the scariest thing for you actually not being able to be 100% certain that you can control yourself? I think the most distressing emotion I've ever felt in my life is powerlessness. And interviews like this are a way for me to gain a sense of power over myself through self-knowledge. Yeah, okay. Thank you, Paris. Psychopathy can't be cured. He will not, cannot change. He can be managed, which is why he's in a prison, but it will never go away. In my opinion, he should never get out. I think Charity potentially is exposing herself and Phoenix to a situation that I don't think she really understands. Charity will in time face a terrible decision. One as a parent, I just can't imagine. Can she completely cut herself off from Paris to protect Phoenix? Charity. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. You okay? Exhausted. I bet. I bet. How are you feeling about it all? Well, 